authority. Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. It has been a windy St. Patrick's Day. Again, red flag warnings in effect for the entire Concho Valley. Couple of high wind watches in effect as well. And again, all because of that low pressure as it moves in towards the panhandle. You see those strong winds coming out of the west just to the south of that low pressure system. That's what's bringing in that dry air. Very windy across the area. We've had several fires pop up because of it. We've reignited that fire out towards the Ronalds and Coleman County. And then we have one in south southwestern Sterling County as well as one in southwestern Erie and County. So we're definitely been watching for those gustier winds and in the fact that we're seeing the dangers of that as well. Looking at our time lapse, we saw plenty of that dust kicked up by those strong winds. And Jared, in a little few minutes, you'll start to see the shades of blue and gray. That's because of that smoke from those fires started passing just to the south of us here in San Angelo. Otherwise, it is going to be a very hazy evening hours. Again, all those you know, dust suspended because of those strong winds. 23 miles per hour out of the west right now in downtown San Angelo. Temperatures wise, didn't stay too much different what we got yesterday. Again, getting into the 80s, 80 degrees, but very dry. Dew points only in the 20s. We're seeing even warmer temperatures out towards Mason and Junction. They almost got closer to the 90 degree mark, but we are seeing that cooler air with that cold front starting to work its way in towards our area, and that's going to continue through the evening hours and towards tomorrow morning. So it's really going to start to drop those temperatures. Tonight, temperatures dropping down into the low 40s. Winds will continue to decrease. We'll get down towards gusting up to 25 miles per hour as we go through the overnight hours. But those winds are going to be turning more out of the south or the northwest. And that's going to start to cool us down going into tomorrow, only getting into the upper 60s. So we're really going to be watching for those winds. Won't be until tomorrow evening that we start to get a little bit of a break. Start to see it get back down into the teens and single digits. That break doesn't last very long because as we go into Saturday, it starts to turn more out of the south. Picks back up, warms us up going in through the second half of the weekend and then as we get through the weekend and into next week we start to see those rain chances returning to the Concho Valley not with that first cold front but this second cold front comes through late on Sunday early Monday morning we start to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms across the Concho Valley well welcomed for us again given how dry we've been the past several months and that will eventually push off towards the east so your seven-day forecast shaping up like this very breezy going into tomorrow as well rain chances late on sunday as we start off the official day start of spring and we see that cold front dropping us from the 80s back down into the 70s and 60s going for next week